Welcome LearnWake members. This is Brandon Judd responding to a video analysis request that's been uploaded by user Roel. Um, again, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but uh, this one is on a Heelside Air Rayleigh. And in the description down here, it says that you're working on trying to get your, uh, your legs into uh, the proper Air Rayleigh position instead of uh, this kind of frog-like position that you described. Um, and just so that our other members catching up can see what we're talking about. You're trying to get this position um, in the Rayleigh to turn into something more like this position where you're, uh, you can see the top sheet of the board uh, while, you're, while you're at your peak height instead of seeing the heel side edge of your board. So again, for most people, it's a really subtle difference that uh, most people wouldn't, may not even notice. Um, but it's good that you're being uh, critical of your own riding and trying to really improve it and, and make it uh, as strong as it can be. So thanks for that, and thanks for uploading this video. Um, your Rayleigh is good as far as the fundamentals of your Rayleigh, your, uh, your hang time and distance and edge control and everything is strong. So uh, you're on the right track here. This is great. Um, and the fix is going to sound way easier than it is. Um, the fix is actually all you need to do is stay on your edge longer through the wake. Way easier said than done. Um, but that's why this board is coming up and around so far behind you. Uh, if you let your board out really quick at the wake and you start to bring your chest forward and stand up upward uh, when you're standing at the wake, like bringing your chest forward and standing up instead of standing back against the wake, uh, what that's going to do is the power from the, the water here that you're edging through is going to fling your board because you're in such a weak position. It's going to fling your board out behind you, and your board is going to reach that optimum spot behind you right about here. Um, and then your peak of your trick is actually more like here. So what's going to happen is your board is going to want to keep going in that direction out behind you. And if it reaches its peak here, um, by the time you hit that stall point at the peak of your trick, it needs to continue. So your heels are going to keep going up back behind you until you hit this position. Um, and then from there, it's going to reel itself back down, which is, it looks a little out of control. It feels a little bit out of control. Um, so we're going to help you fix that. So I want you to see, just compare it to one that, uh, that doesn't have that issue. So this is uh, this is m one of my Air Rayleigh's uh, on a big wake. You can see the wake is pretty decent size here. And the first time I actually tried this on this wake, the wake was bigger than I thought, and I had close to what the issue you're experiencing. I, uh, I edged through it too quickly and stood upright too much, and I missed a little bit of my pop. I didn't go quite as high, and the board came out from under me a little bit too fast. So I just went back and did another one right after that and slowed it down. And when I was edging through the wake here, I, all I was thinking about was forcing myself to stay against my heel side edge and to keep the bottom graphic of the board facing the water uh, that I was edging through, to really lean against the, the rope and keep that board closer to the boat than, uh, than my shoulders. And that's the key here is uh, really forcing yourself to be as patient as possible through the wake. And again, like I said, it's going to be a lot easier said than done. Um, but let's let's watch this for a second. Um, you'll see as I start to fully extend my body, I'm, I'm keeping my chest back as far as I can throughout this. Um, and then when I, when I hold my edge through the wake, you can see right here, it's kind of hard to tell, but you can see that's the bottom graphic of my board. Um, there's a lot of, of surface area of my board here. Um, that is facing the wake at a really extreme angle. And what that's going to do is that's going to push against the bottom of my board really hard. And if I stay back like this, um, watch how long it takes my board to get out from underneath me. So you can see, uh, let me go back here a second. You can see even right here, you can see all the bottom graphic of my board um, as I'm already, you know, I'm completely through the wake here and the bottom of my board is still in front of me. This is actually closer to the boat than my upper body is right now, um, just by a little bit. And then by the time it starts to get out behind me and reaches its furthest point out behind me, I've reached the peak of my jump here, the apex. So really all I need to do is time how high I'm going 
uh, the apex of my trick with the timing of how slow I let my board drift out behind me. Uh, the more time you have, the more you can let this happen. And, and it's very common uh, for riders to feel like they need to get the board out from underneath them really quickly so they have enough time to bring it back. But in reality, what happens is your board actually travels further like this. So now your board has almost 180 degrees to get back underneath you instead of uh, just 90 degrees where all I have to do to bring the board back down is just to drop it underneath me, only 90 degree rotation rather than um, this 180 degree. So it's sort of counterintuitive, but you have to wait and let the board out really slow and not let it out as much um, until you can fully relax at this peak height and then it will be much easier to bring down. So that's a way you can kind of trick your brain into slowing it down is knowing that um, if you slow it down you don't have as much you need to bring back in front of you. Because I know that on Rayleigh's typically the, the big fear is not getting your board down fast enough and having a catastrophic front edge catch um, which nobody wants. But it looks like your Rayleigh um, you're competent enough with this Rayleigh that instead of you know making you go to a wake skate or something to kind of get your first few uh, attempts with this new type of changing edge where you hold the edge all the way through the wake, instead of doing that, I think you're fine to just start doing another rally and just think about being really patient. Um, it's gonna take a little bit though because your habit right now your habit is to send the board behind you and beneath you really quickly um, where in reality you just want to get the board as deep in the wake as possible and then hold it there and don't let it go out behind you right away just give it some time and it will all just naturally flow a lot easier for you so uh, hopefully that advice makes sense I know it seems like I didn't say too much here um, but the fix is really easy if you can if you can trust it and be patient um, and then uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to hit us up down here in the comment section below. Um, or you can uh, try what we've uh, mentioned here and then upload another video of a new attempt. So uh, good luck and thanks for being a member.